All right, folks, looking at recent rainfall from this morning. You can see it had heaviest rain down to the south and towards the west a little bit. Three quarters of an inch nearly in Bentonville, about two thirds of an inch in Branson. Uh, Monette picked up almost two tenths of an inch, so lighter amounts farther north you got. Officially here in Springfield, just a couple hundredths of an inch. That story was true farther north of I-44 you went. All right, looking outside now at one of our cameras here on the square. You can see some of those brighter colors out there here from the square camera. And we actually had, let's go ahead, we got some video here for you as well. We had our storm tracker video, our storm tracker car that is out and about. This is at Maple Cemetery Park here in Springfield. And uh, you can see Maple, it got its name for a reason there. You can see again some of the bright red colors out there. And this is our little car. We're going to be driving around for a little bit. So if you see our little storm tracker, be sure to wave and say hi and uh, honk your horn. And uh, make sure we know what you're doing, though, so we don't uh, cut you off or something. And hey, anyway, we'll go back to Max One. There's a shot of the car. If you see that again, just go ahead and uh, let us know you're watching Color 10. Now in Springfield, though, again, still kind of soggy outside. And uh, you're going to see those rain showers hang on for a little bit longer. But most of the rain is starting to push off towards the east a little bit. So there's still some light rain showers off to the mace, uh, east of Highway 65. Maybe some sprinkles or some drizzle farther west. And looking at Kansas, start to see some clearing happening out that direction. Now looking to the far north and west over Montana and to Wyoming, lots of snow happening up here. They're actually in a winter storm warning right now, as well as a winter storm advisory in the purple. So a lot of snow. Folks expect it up to the north. Now it's cold up there. And that cold air is going to come here. The snow, it's not coming, but the cold air, it's on its way for the weekend. Temperatures right now in the upper 60s, 67 in Springfield, a few places in the 70s out west where the sun started to come out a little bit more. Winds a little gusty today. We could see winds gust upwards of 25 to maybe 30 miles per hour from the south. Then we get into Friday. Here's the cold front bringing in that cooler air. We'll see a northwest wind arrive for Friday afternoon behind that front. Something else is going to arrive is much cooler temperatures. 70s ahead of the front behind on the back side of the cold front. We'll see temperatures 40s and 50s. Big changes coming away. So, all right, so for the rest of today, this afternoon, spotty showers, hit or miss kind of situation. Clearing continues. Might actually get more sun than clouds as we go to the afternoon, late afternoon into the evening. Good news there. Dry overnight tonight. More spotty showers ahead of that cold front as it crumbs in tomorrow midday into the afternoon. Might be some thunderstorm activity, non severe, but a little thunder and lightning certainly possible. Uh, down to the southeast with that front. It's going to stall out and this will kind of set up for uh, more moisture coming our way for the weekend. Saturday morning looks dry. Saturday midday and afternoon onward. Better chance of rain arrives there into your Sunday. So kind of a wet Saturday and Sunday coming our way. Most of the rain for the weekend down to the south of I-44. Then after that, yeah, here comes the cold air. It's coming in. We'll see those temperatures drop down to the 40s for highs and 20s for lows as we go into the start of next week. So Sunday night, 29 degrees, a killing freeze, 45 for a high Monday and 25 again Monday night. So chilly come Halloween, guys. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, fall is definitely yeah. here. <laughs> There's like winter. <laughs> I know, I'm like, whoa there.